Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. This is your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Ms. Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my What's going on? I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all, I mean, all, I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just go ahead and Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101 on Google. It will pop up everywhere. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals, and don't forget to hit that subscribe. But if you want that exclusive content that we give, Got to go ahead and sign up for a membership. How you find our membership link is under each and every video, including this one right here. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link. And let me tell you, you get all exclusive content you want to see. Because y'all always see us on the street and be like, man, love what you're doing. Keep it up. How can we support a brand? Well, this is how you can support a brand. Buy our membership. Thank you, Nevada. Hey, man, y'all heard us at that spiel, man. Y'all got to do what she say, man. Y'all got to listen to us, man. We need you to, hey, if you will. It's like giving at the church almost. Mm -hmm. you, 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 If you will, come on in the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. We got a very special guest here today, man. He don't need no introduction, man. His family, man. He comes on the show when he in Texas, and he just so happened to be here. And you boys better put your cars up because he here, y'all. <laughs> he here. Y'all talk when he ain't here. I don't see you when he is here, man. Dunk Masters in the building. What's, What's going on? What's they they, they, they yeah, talk yeah. when you, when you huh? ain't here. They yeah. talking. Yeah, man, you, it's when but I hit we, the city, it's quiet as a rat pissing on guy. I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in the city, they don't want to say nothing. But they on the internet, just bumping their goals all the time. They can't be doing it. Man, man. man, you guys, man, extraordinary, man. I'm loving the movement, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. For you sure. guys, man, I'm going to tell you, I, I've been seeing this new car now. It's it's blue. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, I, I always said I want to win one, you know. Uh -huh. I, and you, it's a group of dudes now. I'm really oh, jealous because yeah. they got uh -huh. a whole damn group now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. people that done won cars oh, and, I'm, oh, and I be watching to see when my day gonna come yeah. <laughs> I mean you gotta enter the party you, gotta you know what I'm saying you, know. you gotta click the link and get a ticket cause you know we, we started the stuff with me and Carlos Miller doing the, do, doing the car giveaways and they just didn't want us to stop so Carlos was like alright we finished with the car giveaway we ain't gonna do no more man we had so many DMs of people hitting us up trying to get them cars so Carlos was like well let's pull some more out of the yard and, and keep rolling and, and y'all got doing. a bunch of them man oh, yeah, yeah, like sure. I said the fun Funniest thing I seen was one time you pulled this old car out of the woods. I, you done did it so many times. Oh, yeah, but boy, you pull it up out of it. I'll say, where you come from with that one? But boy, when you finish them, you yeah. can't tell no more, man, no, that no, 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 down no. in there. Yeah, we take them all the, way, all the way down. So, like, we found some cars, matter of fact, in San Antonio, Texas. Wow. I flew down here. Me and my team, we flew down here. We find two dunks down here. Called a transporter, bought those, put them on the trailer, took it back. We sold one and kept one, and we doing them right now. Wow! See, that's what I'm talking about. What's the what's that what's that graveyard car you done found? That uh, extraordinary deal. What's the best deal ever? I mean, shoot, I done found a bunch of deals, <laughs> but, but <laughs> one that I remember though, it got to be uh, matter of fact, the Z06, the car that I race all yeah, the time. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I find out when in somebody's yard, I bought that car for about four thousand dollars. Wow! But it was just a body, but it had no rust or nothing on it. And you know, what I mean, had the top, it's missing some stuff here and there. But the fella seen me at a car show, and another convertible I had, he was like, he got one and I was looking for one because I'm always looking for one. Like right now, <laughs> we looking for we looking for dogs right now, convertible stuff right now. Right, but now. you know what I'm saying. We find that one for a pretty good price. I think we paid four thousand dollars for it. Uh, pulled it out Like I still got that car today So that's probably About the mm. best one That actually did a lot Was the Z06 The Z06 is mm. one That I, I know I remember At one point You didn't bring it Because yeah. you was working on it Like uh -huh. But after the work Was done on it yeah. Like like What was the difference In the way that it wrote What was the reason You changed it up Let's talk about that a little Yeah bit. so with the Z06 That's the car That we actually I did That's probably Maybe my 7 or 8th dunk that we did but this car is very special because we're doing a lot of prototype parts on it so like right now the parts that's been on this car been on this car for the last couple of years that we were actually testing for a lot of different companies like TBM we got the first set of lightweight brakes on the car that weighs wow. about 12 pounds a piece compared to a regular dunk brake weighs about 40 pounds then we got uh, all fiberglass bumpers and body panels that nobody else has on the car Wow. then we got a chrome molly chassis up under the car so the, the car real light lightweight you know what I'm saying but we got special bead locks on the bag We uh, I just put a wing on the back to keep it down on the ground in the back and we've been testing a lot of different motor combinations camshaft combinations but this car is really like a prototype test bed for big wheel racing 
Wow. So, like, you know what I mean? I'm the only crazy person that's put all these fresh, brand new parts <laughs> on the car wow. and run it down the track 170, 80 miles an hour to make sure they're safe for everybody else after me. Damn. You know so, we, I'm not doing it for me. I'm trying to do it for the whole culture to elevate it and then I'm going to innovate at the same time, engineer, and I'm kind of crazy too. So, you, yeah, you crazy. You don't yeah. ever get scared? <laughs> scared of what? What I'm be scared for? Like, cause you testing it, but you you doing something dangerous. I mean, but it's made of vibranium, titanium, chromoly. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's top of the line, heat treated, forty one thirty steel, aluminum, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, listen, what, man. What crazy thing won't you do? I mean, have right you now, ever jumped out of plane? Not yet, nah. But I might end up doing that too. <laughs> but not right now. Like you know what I mean? I I might do that. I, we we think about something like that. Would you go? Have you petted a tiger before? What? Play with them. We went to Mexico and played with the tigers. Yeah, we played with the Ooh. tigers in Mexico. We went scuba diving with Touch sharks. Touch a crocodile? Crocodile. I'll wrestle a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Touch I'm trying crocodile. to think, what else is dangerous? Ride an elephant, <laughs> ride a camel. I seen an elephant hit this woman the other day. Boom, he just yeah. hit her. Oh, no, I was like, yeah, 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 you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I don't want to pet that. It was a little one. I imagine a big one doing I it. I do all, we do all that. I but, like all that. I got to say, man, last time me and baby girl, we was down there and uh, we watched you race and she scared the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. I said, I probably will, but I'm going to go back tomorrow. I will yeah. be there watching you. Oh, yeah. But it was something the car did. It wasn't the deal. It was the SS. Yeah, her come her come it, no, it wasn't. It was the. It was the. It was yeah. Oh, it's not the black blur. The, the, the black, black blur, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it it did this. Oh something. yeah, yeah. The end of the and trail. It, yeah. And yeah. that was it for me. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I said, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. I you mean, know, I was three I'm old, old man. You know, I'm, you that, nigga. I'm old. I can't emotion. be out here looking at stuff. You got to keep that thing on the track I mean, steady. That's what we've been trying to do. But it's just a little three. You matter of fact, you see that on G Dog eight hundred three P where he slowed it down and it picked the back tire up just a little bit. Oh it? hell no! I mean, like you sit in the chair, you got to let one. No, that's no, 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 no. And she was like, she was like, whoa! I'm like, you ain't seen. This before she's like, nah, I, said, nah. I ain't coming back. <laughs> I ain't man, I'd be in the car, I'd be crew, I'd be like, damn, look at that stupid ass thing there. Oh, That's no. what I be doing. I just, you know what I mean? I straight up play with Oh, it. my God. Is that, is that the craziest thing that ever happened to you before? No, oh, nah. Race cars? Yeah. Oh, nah. I'm talking about, I done shoot, spun around, slide sideways about 150, 60 miles an hour. I mean, you know what I mean? That's where you get the parachutes, and I've been driving race cars over 20 years, so I mean. It's so cool to me. I just feel it, how I feel, and just, just correct it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Hell you can yeah. feel it. I can feel the part, the, the twisting and shimmering and all that. Yeah. You know, just like how you want to get your sound right ahead <laughs> yeah, with your, yeah, yeah. I feel it in the car. You can tell. Yeah, so if I'm in the car you, and it's starting to try slide, to I ease up the gas, 5, 3% off the throttle and straighten it back up, shift it to high gear. What do I need to do? What's the, what's the, like you've been in the car and you've seen like it was a time when it was something you felt and you like I need to change that and you changed it and you knew that it had to change mm -hmm. immediately oh, yeah. in order to make that a better race car what was a yeah. big change that you made matter of fact uh, in 2022 matter of fact yeah with the black blur we just changed the uh, whole drive train suspension everything we put on at meth we went from 1200 horsepower to about 2500 horsepower so I had to fly oh, my tune in. Oh yeah, so I had to fly my tune in from uh, Las Vegas. Brand new setup. It was a shootout to win ten thousand dollars. So we had the brand new car, brand new setup. My team drove the car nine hours through the night, brought the car to the track, fresh, brand new. I'm talking about it's on G Dog eight oh three channel. We took the car to the track, the car was going down the track like a snake. <laughs> I'm pillar the car. Ain't know what's going on now. The first test pass on a brand new setup. The second, the second test pass, my tuna get up under the car. We call the person who made the shocks. We adjust the shocks, turn the suspension on it, straight down the track, bust them boys' ass. Woo! The second time. Woo! The third time, we turn around, he, he turned up a little bit more, see what's going on. Third pass, we obliterated their ass. Ooh. I'm talking, ran out their life, gave them the gap sauce like we normally do. That gap sauce, man. Right? Right? That man. Right? 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 No matter how much you keep on updating your car and doing stuff, it uh, seems like you keep on trying to do oh, something nah. else. Yo, if you want to be the top dog, you want to stay number one, you going to need to use your resources and you know, spend a couple of dollars and then stay ahead of the curve. But that all helps with what we got going on because not only with the manufacturers and the companies, we can call the CEO, we can call the part shipper, we can call the parts maker, the machinist, and that's how we try to stay ahead of the game as far as elevating the cars and keeping them top notch. But then, okay, so when you at the um, the track, because a lot of times, sometimes 
always see mechanics working on it, the, tr- the mm-hmm. hood be up and stuff. Do you be having competitors coming over there and be looking and trying to see what you got on oh, there? Yeah, well, I let them look at what's going on. They eat their ass up. <laughs> I mean, check it out. You, you want to see what's going on? Take a closer look. Take a picture. I mean, I tell them straight up, look at it. What do you want to do? Because I'm testing this stuff anyway, so they can't even buy what I have right now. Oh, okay. So they can look at them like, damn, boy, you got titanium. Yes, nigga, that's what I got. Titanium on here. Wow. So nobody else sells that? So Not, they can't go to somebody? Some of the stuff you can buy now, but but, right. you know what I mean as far as this, a lot of stuff that I'm actually testing they can't get until it, we test it because we test okay. it for metal fatigue test for durability test for consistency in a lot of the parts that we actually be having on the video but it give you an upper hand over everybody else then if that's the case it give you an upper hand if you know how to work it if, <laughs> if you don't know how to work it I mean that just like you know what I mean a 70 year old person with an iPhone they would be looking at the iPhone you know what I mean they word this letter this big they gotta figure out <laughs> how to work it oh, who, who got the most cars you or Carlos Miller Carlos got a bunch of calls. I seen it, and he come on here and try to talk trash to me when he uh, first came on here yeah, trying to yeah. challenge me. I only got two cars. Yeah, this he old he was talking about that Chevelle or something. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, talked nah, about nah, the Chevelle. Nah. He talked about the GTO. Oh, you yeah, only yeah. got one, oh, nigga. Yeah. You got a hundred and fifty thousand cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's what, and he got. From a V6 straight six all the way up to supercharged motors. Yeah. Oh, not everything from drop tops to hard tops. He liked the same car in every configuration Chevrolet made. So Ooh. he wanted a Tudo, a Photo, a station wagon, and a convertible and of the same exact year. But he sells them and wow. get them back and sell them all the I time. Mean, he sell them, buy them, give them away, gift them to friends. I mean, he just love automobiles. You know what I'm saying? He love them. He liked the old school. I'm talking about when we at the house when there ain't no cameras around. Oh, he just sit, open the door, sit in the car. You smell that? I got this one from an old fella. <laughs> hey, this, this, this one. He know the story on every car that he got. Now, that like, is crazy. I, oh, for real, he he loves it, man. And you yeah. know what I, mean? I love it too. And he him, go to auctions and stuff like that. Oh no, nah, he'll get them on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But he got a whole team of people that find the vehicles that he would want. Then now he just opened a shop. Matter of fact, yeah, he, he told me about yeah, that. Baby Bird Automotive down in, in Georgia. He got his shop up and running now. And there's something we've been working on for uh, the last couple y'all, years. Y'all, y'all Facetime me from there oh, about yeah, a week yeah, ago, yeah, about two weeks ago. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. He, Shout he, out to Man, I said, what the hell y'all got going down there? Carlos told me y'all got a spot. He's like, yeah, oh, look yeah. at this, look at this. I'm like, oh, hell, I got to try to figure this out. I got to get down there. Oh, no, they got it. I'm talking about they locked and loaded. So now they're just getting all the, all the calls up and running. But yeah. they do calls for a lot of celebrities and stuff, all his yeah. partners and homeboys and football, everybody, you know what I mean? But, yeah, they got a shop up and running right now, so and Baby been, Bird all the moment. You've been at your shop down in, in, in yeah, 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 so, yeah, and, and basically... Like I said, where is these cars that when you go out there and just find them out there in a the field somewhere, you done put them years mm-hmm. ago or somebody else had them out there. I don't know what you be doing, but you yeah. bring them out the field. Out the field. Where, what, how did they get in the field? I mean, it might be somebody old, somebody <laughs> might, you know what I mean? Ain't no telling where they come from now. As long as they got the paperwork right, y'all, everybody that watches this right now on the YouTube <laughs> world, we look for old school. Yeah, and, and y'all we come in. What, no matter where you at, it don't matter. You know, like what, okay, I hear rumors that up up in the mm-hmm. on the East Coast they have that salt, you know, that rust. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they got that. You too. have to watch that rust. How yeah. do you how do you know which city to watch out for that? I mean, if you go if you go t- a little bit past Georgia, <laughs> them them cars get kind of rusty down. You know what I mean? Past. Like say if you go past Derry and on down, them cars be kind of rusty. So you want to try to stay from. Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, come on around to about South Carolina, North Carolina. They got you got pretty good solid cars there, just because of the weather, the ocean. There ain't no ocean or nothing like that. So in Texas, y'all got a lot of cars where the metal be good, but all the rubber stuff be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the sun tear, the sun tear it up. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know that. Yeah, because I done bought cars from San Antonio, Allerton, and it's I done bought cars from all over the nation. But California got some good cars too. They do. Yeah, Vegas, Las Vegas, we buying from everywhere. Well, wow. I mean, you want to stay away from the, that rust and that, that rain and that flooding. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. sometimes you find cars that people can't find the titles and stuff like that. Oh, How yeah, does yeah. that work? I mean, if you can't find the title for it, we, we know different way people, you know. <laughs> we figure that for out. You know what I mean? We got a shop. We, we got different ways to get it the correct way, and then we make it happen. What okay. was a time? Give me a, give me a because I can ask you about this. You see it on Fast and the Furious, and you see... Why they they race for them slips and pink slips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like when the last time have you ever lost a car and had to give up your car? Nah, we just spent a lot of money. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like it, when, he, when them have you ever seen slip, somebody do I it? I seen them boys do that kind of stuff, but that's I don't do that. I just bro, we just bet the money on however much money you want to bet. You know, what I mean? if you want to bet what your car worth, we can do that too. You know what I'm saying? But we always just bet a couple dollars and keep it running. I'm because not that's more that hurtful to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, see, you know what I mean? I see a lot of people do that stuff and they be. I, we don't do that. We just bet the money. Yeah, we bet the money. <laughs> Did you, you? I see you 
uh, was you in Memphis last time? Well, I, I thought I seen you just in Memphis. Was you in Memphis? Where did you, did you just come from? Yeah, Memphis? Mississippi. We was in Hollis Ray, Mississippi. Okay, yeah, we was in So outside of Memphis, Hollis outside Rain. of Memphis. Yeah, right. see you, see you, Larry. Uh, birthday bash. Then Matter y'all, fact, shout then out to see you, Larry. I think you bet a little money down there. Oh, dude. we always bet a little something. I see a little something, you know something, something coming yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We always bet a couple dollars down. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go. So, like, right now, you know what I mean? We, we go bet some money tomorrow at the show, at the big show. How now. did you and Demonology uh, form this uh, this great relationship mm-hmm. where you come to Texas and you know it goes down? Did, oh, yeah. and, 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 I, and that's part A. And part B is, did you win last year when you was here or did he win? Let's talk about it. Okay, man. You know what I mean? The big show that I met Demonology, we talked about on the internet a lot of times because he made a post saying what car he should race with his demon. This was in 2018, 2019. So, all his fan supporters say, man, race dunk master, race dunk master, right? So I, he actually came to SEMA in 2019 where I had my cars in the Rucci booth. Uh, where I had, we had two cars down there in Rucci in, tw- in 2019. He came out there. I met him for the first time. Cool brother. See, you know what I mean? He talked about what he was thinking about wanting to do. And we came up with a concept of YouTubers versus the world. So okay. since we're so big in YouTube, and it's a lot of YouTubers that we personally know that has fast vehicles, we decided to put together this show to show it what everybody does. And then we actually race. And then we have people like Hot Rod, PRI, SEMA, Motor Trend. A lot of the big companies that we actually spend a lot of money with actually come out to this event and support it. So we just, it started like that. And we just kept going. This is our fifth year actually doing the event. And we just formed a relationship and just kept rolling. You know what I'm saying? He, he He's a competitive racer and he's a jokester and like to talk a little trash too. You know I what I'm seen saying? him. Yeah. I seen y'all doing the dance, you know. Uh-huh. I don't know. I think your <laughs> dance... You you did like the wobbly leg with the and he was doing something like he was cranking a car. Yeah, he, he, he doing the dig. Yeah, he, he okay, he was dig. digging it. Yeah, I thought mean, he was cranking a lawnmower. I, I, I don't mean, know. I said that's the AARP <laughs> did it. I mean, I told I told D. Rock, I said, listen, man. I said you can't move that fast with the joints no more. Your, your knees, you know what I mean. Your knees can't do like how my knees do. You know what I'm saying? You know, Demon Audrey, right? I know your knees ain't as good as they used to be. But mine still wiggle pretty freely. You know what I'm saying? Already, man. Yeah, I yeah. Seen it. He liked him. I got back up. I no, seen no, him. No, no, no. He be moving he slow. He, he moves slow. Yeah. He be breathing heavy. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's called fans, though. It's called, it's called pretty fans. Now, man. I asked you, who won last year? Who was the... Did y'all oh, race? What? Yeah, we raced. And I who, gave him the gap, so what you mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, damn. Yeah, so he had to put the big wheels on the car, because that was the rule. That I, was it. I, got, show. I had the black blur with the 24s on it, so he got 24 and slicks put on, the, on his car. You know what I mean? When he raised on the 15 slicks, he beat me. Yeah. But he had to come to my world. Okay. So he put 24 and slicks on his demon. And he had to get a taste of the gap sauce. I mean, that's just what happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gave it to him right there in Texas. So you think but how do you... Do, okay, so winning... Because I when we came out there, we was like, okay, well, he win, then you win, then he win. So how do you know if the person actually win the overall... Oh no! I mean, it go by uh, it just go by a ladder. So just like a Final Four, or a Sweet Sixteen ladder, you got the two people, mm-hmm. and then we go as shoot it as like a bracketry, like a tournament bracket type stuff is how we actually do the actual racing. Okay. But with me and him, we race in different cars, so we just battle each other in different vehicles that we bring to these shows. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, baby girl, you know her car was really jumping up, doing some weird things. We would mm-hmm. last year when we seen it, it was it was jumping up, it was mm-hmm. going down the track. You drove it a couple of times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check uh, it out. What would, what can we expect to see tomorrow when I get out there? Is this car gonna be ready to go down this track? Ready the to right go down way? the track. Well, because well, last time it was jumping everywhere. It was man, like, it's water wet, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Dude. You know what and I'm saying? She Wait gonna be driving. Yeah, it. she gonna drive it. She gonna do exactly what she's supposed to do. She we, we built this car at the, at the shop and I drove it last year it was the debut of the that's vehicle right, for her but right. I had to make sure it's safe mm-hmm. you know so I couldn't just stick it in something dude, be like just go ahead on down you got a thousand horsepower baby just do what you gotta do <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we we talked we trained her she talked to the tuners the mechanics the chassis people you know what I mean she's really involved in the actual building driving and learn how to drive the vehicle and that's what we're gonna do but yeah it's gonna be fast and we're we gonna race it tomorrow for sure now you have that I don't know his name he been here before your mechanic he yeah, always Jason. Been. Jason. Yeah, Jason. How, how do you how do you keep your team motivated and together and just you know just just always you know focus when it come down to just uh, traveling and you know staying positive. That's staying what, positive. Yeah, that's what I tell them. There's no negativity. Staying positive. It's a bigger goal to what we're trying to do. Like we we building cars and stuff like that, but we also entertainers and we also want to show the people what's going on. We want to teach the people. So we're trying to do all of that at the same time, but staying motivated. We do so many cars. We do so many events. You know what I mean? Like right now we're on tour and this is this is our what? 
fourth or fifth event in a row or something like that. Yeah, so we're going to have a little break. Then, you know what I'm saying? My birthday coming up, we're going to have a little break. But just Man. keeping the team motivated you know, and just keeping them, you know what I mean? Keeping them there, talking to them, seeing yeah. what they need, make sure they're not overworking, underpaid, and make sure they're good to go. Yeah, What's so the I, longest you've ever been without racing? Without racing? Without racing something? Shoot. Probably seven, six months, maybe. Really? About, that's about it. I huh? can't see. The only reason I'm I like, did you that. addicted. Yeah, the only reason I did that because I was locked up. I knew that. <laughs> I, was, I knew that. I, I knew that. I knew that. But I actually had all my team and everybody sending me videos, you know what I mean? Sending me pictures, sending me analytics, sending me screenshots. I'm talking about, I had, I'm talking when we had a TV show, they sent me screenshots of the cars going on track. So I still was racing in while I was locked up. Wow. I, mean, I still was racing. That's but, hard. Yeah, as far as that's about the longest because I've been racing cars since I was 16. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Because if you had to be, if you were stuck at home and you yeah. couldn't race a car, because mm -hmm. during the pandemic nobody was racing. Who wasn't racing? We were selling out racetracks. <laughs> and yeah, during the pandemic we were selling out facilities, ten, fifteen thousand people at a time. Wow. Yeah, because nobody could go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And a racetrack is privately owned. So right. like the owners, like, what we gonna do? I say, shoot, what y'all want to do? Oh, <laughs> open the gate. Just, just let me open the gate and we figure the rest of it out. And oh yeah, the pandemic, we had the ball. Did, and wow. and did you, you guys didn't walk in fear, y'all walked in faith. And I oh, think yeah, that's yeah, big. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, to to that. even do that. And then that wasn't no widespread of nobody, you know, nah, getting sick and that nah. like that. It was cap. A yeah. lot of it was cap. Yeah. We didn't know what it was. Uh -huh. And they played. That's how I started boss talk. I said, you know what? I'm going in there and talk to some folks. I know they scared. These mm -hmm. niggas scared. Breakfast club scared right now. They oh, yeah, they get tired of you. They get tired of you. But I mean, that's still like, to me, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people that work in a lot of different places. Like, they, a lot of people were saying that was population control. I yeah. mean, that's what they was telling you. know what I mean? I don't know how true it is, but it was population control. <laughs> I mean, that's what they were saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. What you call, okay, so I know you have junk racing, but I know People do a lot of different things with cars. Is that called swing? Not swingers. Um, what's that thing what that the little boy was doing? Yeah, the what's that? The, the, no. the drift and the slide. The drift, yeah, the it's almost yeah, yeah, like slide. this, but sl it sliding. Is it sliding? They call it. Yeah, they yeah. got a slide yeah. and drifting, taking over all that. Yeah, kind of do stuff you do that too? Oh yeah, we built the car called a donut dunk that we actually had. We built it for uh, SEMA and eBay Motors for the hooligans, and we actually took it in the barn yard and do that. And right now, side Denise's, show is what yeah, they call it. Show. Side That's what they call it on the West Coast. Right. So like Denise now is actually putting together a team of. Uh, the young group of drivers, we actually had them at our show in uh, South Carolina uh, last weekend, and they showed out. You know what I'm saying? We wow. gave away $1,000 wow. to the best slider and drifter, mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to do that. So she's putting together a team of motivated young people, not no negative ones, the ones that get it off the street. Because, right. like, they'll do a street takeover, and it'll be too many boys out there. They get in trouble. They're ready. They lose their car. People lose their life. So we want to bring light to it to bring them to the racetrack and mm -hmm. do it in a controlled environment. They can bust the tire, slide however much they want to do it, but let's just do it in a controlled environment. Right. So that's what we're doing as of right now. She's putting together a team of drivers to do to do so. Wow. And travel around with right. us and stuff that's like all that. Too. I like what that. else do people do with cars other than, like, sliding or drifting and then, you know, oh, I mean, what, they, else, they what else is there out there? Dirt, dirt racing. They do trophy truck racing. They do bike racing I mean it's a whole slew of different things sound system really? sound yeah. system water racing they, they actually have trucks water where put, racing where they put mud like tires on it and run through the water like they do mud racing and they do running through the water with like big paddle tires on it yeah they do it. whatever you can think of long they doing it. yeah whatever any kind of drag racing any kind of competitive thing with cars rally Whole bunch of stuff. what you think about those new cars that I've been seeing on social look media like a, look, look like, like a, a tank Little homie, you talk the cyber truck. Yeah, yes. what uh, you yeah, think yeah. about I those? Mean, that, I mean, that's a cyber truck. The electric cars, they're pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? It's Have you driven new. one yet? Nah, not yet. I ain't drive one. I, I like to race one though. They want to race one because I believe they they supposed to be pretty quick, but they, they, ain't be fast. they supposed to be, but they ain't fast. Me, I though. saw somebody drive one through water, almost like an on water type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. It was truck. like real deep, yeah, and I was yeah. like, it was going like what is this world coming to? What is this world coming to? I cool. know. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can ride with that. It looked funny to me too. It looked like Lego car. We gotta get used to that first. I'm not used to that. Yeah, but it's kind of bulletproof and all kinds of stuff. 
Michael oh, Jackson. Really? Jackson. Jackson. Just came out. I just you gotta you get used it. to it. I tried. I tried. I tried to race him. I mean, but they told me put me like they hit it with a bat, all kind of stuff like that. I seen. I'm not sitting in there and let you shoot at that car. And I sit in there. I don't trust them. Oh yeah, you can race a heavy car for sure. As long as you got enough power. So that like that truck's supposed to be pretty quick. So we go see. I think we got somebody bringing one out into the show tomorrow. Oh really? Yeah, we got a couple of Teslas and fellas be racing their Teslas and stuff. So they supposed to come with one of them cyber trucks. Mm, I show, yeah, yeah, I want to mm-hmm. see it. I want to look at it. Yeah, see you'll see what it looks I want to see what the hell that is. <laughs> because somebody, <laughs> cause somebody here, because yeah. somebody here in Dallas, that's probably who it is. Because I saw it on Instagram where they was right up here on, in Pleasant Grove with it, and there was yeah. people were commenting, "Oh yeah, I saw it on six thirty five. I saw it yeah. on," and it seemed like it's only one. Oh, you got wheels on it. It had. Mm, no, I know, not I know, no big I, wheels or nothing. I know like CJ that. on 32s. Matter of fact, shout out CJ on shout 32s. Shout out CJ on 32s. He got, he got I one. Him. Yeah, he got some uh, big wheels. I don't know what size it is, but I know he got wheels. Oh, okay. I think it might be like Yeah, he stopped at a wheel truck. He stopped at a wheel um, company yeah, yeah, and was yeah, yeah. posted up mm-hmm. right there. Yeah. It was like a, it looked like an Iranian type looking dude. Yeah, That's so be. boy that was with us. That's Mohammed that right around yeah, the it, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his spot. Yeah, That's where CJ be. That's where I saw it. That's his spot. That's where it be. He was staying out here. Yeah, that boy, that old boy. Um, um, I think it's Mohammed or yeah. Mohammed. Yeah. yeah, I know that guy, man. But he with OGU. He's with okay. OGU. But I wanted to ask you about the car. Going back to that car, y'all giving away because I'm, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna get in there. Uh, it got 26 inch rims on. 26 it. inch Ruchies, big cap Ruchies. Ruchies. You know, uh, you know how do y'all pick what what uh, size tires y'all gonna put on it I and mean, all that good stuff? Yeah, a lot of times we go by what the car is. So like, say okay. box Chevy Dunks, bubble Chevys, 24 and 26 is what the natural stuff is. What we like to do. Uh, with that, I didn't buy but one ticket and I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, like them kind of people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the last fella he spent fifty dollars and won that purple. Yeah, he comes to the show with the car. I don't like that. Hey, who he comes to the show. Yeah, who won that it's damn Chevelle, man? What the Chevelle? Oh, he was out of uh, Maryland, out of out of Maryland with that Pro Charge uh, seventy Chevelle. See, that's what you wanted. You wanted the Chevelle. Oh yeah, everybody wanted. I want because this was seventy. I got a seventy two. I needed a seventy. Out of all of the cars that you gave that you raffled off, which one of the cars had the most um, raffle tickets bought? Uh, the most. The, no. Nah, I won the Chevelle. What? It was the, uh, it was the black blurry. It was the second car. The one we built that looked like the blur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like that one the best. They so like that one. Yeah, they, they, like, they like the blurry. Well, they like the blur, so they wanted that. It was a street car version of that. And matter of fact, a fella from uh, South Carolina won that one. So wow. they, like, they like the Monte Carlos and stuff like that. But they really like just the old school car. So like right now, we're doing this blue uh, 84 Tudo Landau. Mm-hmm. It's really, really clean. So it's it only got like 14,000 miles on it. We just put the full QA1 suspension on the bottom of it and put 26 inch Rouges on it. Yeah. And that's all we had to do to it. It, it, it got a system in there, though. Yeah, yeah, it got, it got a little system. Who, who, put, the, who put the system in there? Y'all put it in nah, there? No, it was in there when we, when we bought the car. Oh, so we, it was yeah. ready. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We just had to do the suspension, tune up, stuff, all the regular maintenance stuff on it. You talk about on. Monte Carlos. Like today we were driving and we saw a Monte Carlo, right? Mm-hmm. And I asked him, I said, because he, he was like. It was 76, that long one. Yeah. Oh, yeah he yeah, was right. like, oh, Monte Carlos always have two doors. Two I said, doors. Look it up and see if they ever had a four door. I seen some photos. He said, they ugly as hell. That's what he said. Have you ever seen him photos? I've never seen a photo of See what I'm saying? Yeah, I know it's, I'm, but, I'm like, ain't no photo. But like I told him, I was like, okay, since they made it, probably was limited edition. I guarantee you that that would probably worth more than all of the rest that of the That thing too ugly, man. Oh, that thing ugly, man. I've never, never seen a photo of Monica. You had to Google, Google it. They it. weird yeah. looking. Yeah. It popped up. I said, what yeah, the hell? It's like photos. about a 70, but 76, or, uh, uh, yeah, because they had to photo about a 76. They ain't must have sell them too good. They ain't good. Them all ugly, man. They ain't sell them too good. But it's rare, though. because it got to be. I ain't never seen I told you that. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you that? I said, no damn to it. He's like, oh, I wouldn't want one. I'm like, I want one. Just the main fact is limited. Yeah. I want one because I'm better money. looking limited cars. Nigga, you get some better looking limited than that one now. Like, that it. one, it, it's cars like that. You know, cars that start disappearing like the Cordoba. Oh, you never yeah, see yeah, those yeah. anymore. You don't see them too much. You don't see them. Nah, it's nah. certain one and that Plymouth. It left. Yeah, 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 them yeah. little, the short Plymouth. Yeah, yeah. They left. Yeah. And yeah, that LTD is gone. Oh, they don't make the Ford LTD no more. I don't see it nowhere. I'm talking about that old one. They, you know, like the somebody. Long one. Yeah, yeah, you don't see them yeah, like, like that. Like the deuce of the quarter and all that kind of stuff yeah. like that. You don't see them. You don't see them. Nah. I think, I think. So that. what happened to these cars when they go, like, do they, the, 
What happened? Why they, we they, can't they see him crush him, though? So, so, like, right now with, like, uh, Dodge, they they cutting the charging line. They cutting all those lines, and they coming back with EV cars now. So, but it pushed the value of the other cars, and then it make it parts harder to get sometimes, too. Yeah. So, it make the value go up a lot. But sometimes the main factor is to cut the line. So, sometimes the designers are retired. So, like, the matter of fact, the fella at Dodge is an African-American top-line designer. He did, like, the Wagoneer, the Charger, the Challenger, the Demon. Like, he designed all those cars. Wow. So, like, once they retire, sometimes they just cut that line on some of that mm. stuff, too, like that. That's crazy. What's the newest um, hot car? Because I know the Hellcat and all that people yeah, was going crazy those. over those. Uh-huh. What's the new hot car right now that a lot of these young kids are going after right now? Oh, yeah, them Hellcats, them Trackhawks, yeah, the Camaros. They they love Camaros. those cars. Yeah, them Camaros, them ZL1 Camaro, anything supercharged, CTSV supercharged. Say like nothing that. come out that's new right now that's just like. The, the newest one is like that Cybertruck you see everybody trying to get that the, new, yeah, new Cybertruck that. type stuff. How much they running for? I think they're like 70, 80 grand. But you that's know it? Me, yeah, they're kind of cheap, but they bumping them up because they harder to, you had to order them so, right. so a while ago, you know what I mean? You know I what? I think it'd be more expensive if it looked like about 100 car, or something. Yeah. My first truck was a Chevy Love. The little tiny one. Yeah, and it had the what year that was? EV Zoo, uh in it. We took that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Put the 350 one. in that thing. And make it fast. Cut the damn radiator out of it. <laughs> you had to make room in it. That, that little, thing was go, though. Oh, yeah, they real little. Yeah, the long bed or the short bed? <laughs> the short bed. Oh, yeah, I bought what, it, man. They I worth some money. I paid like $400 what for it. What truck is now? I buy right now. <laughs> 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 you ain't getting the water? No, I can't yeah. fit in there, but I buy it. Cause they, they buy this big. They ain't that big. Yeah, That's my they, first yeah. vehicle, yeah. man. Yeah. Now, you don't see them that no more, really. Yeah. Like what is what what car you seen that that pulled up at the track? You like damn, I ain't seen one of them. Sure, a damn Pacer or a Gremlin. <laughs> yeah, I seen a Gremlin or a bubble back Pacer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen, and they be having like the AMC Javelin. You yeah. don't see a lot of those neither. You know when niggas were broke, we bought them Escorts. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I you had, had one of those for a night. I had a, 90, a 91 they, GT. They look like the Chevette. Yeah, yeah, but I had a 91 GT with a wing and a body kit on it, with a five speed. I had one of those. Same. One yeah. car you see pull up where you be like, I don't care how much it is, mm. I got to buy that off of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And wasn't able to buy it. Uh-huh. What car was that? I mean, I know for sure I seen a real clean Nova. Like a fella like had Nova. like a 69 like Nova. A 69 Nova. I'm talking about it's super, super clean. Oh, yeah. He, he, I think Buddy won about 200000 for that car. Wow. Yeah, it's real, real clean. Yeah, it's blue, like a bluish teal color, twin turbo car. Yeah, that, I'm talking about it. It looks super good. And, that's what and I'm saying. Too. Mm-hmm. And, and he probably he, he probably done put it together. Didn't oh, he all the way together. I'm talking about that thing. Super clean. Yeah. They, they, the LS motors that they putting in these cars, man, are, are they getting better or are they are they staying the same? Nah, they getting better. They making more power and they staying together longer. So like when I first started messing with the LS motor, two thousand horsepower was crazy. Like you about to make two thousand horsepower with this LS motor. Yeah. Now they making three thousand or over three thousand horsepower. But the companies and manufacturers like Noonan and Dart and Race One and Brands, they building strong components to keep the cars together. And then like cylinder heads, like mass cylinder heads, they building. Different kind of his cylinder heads to make more power too. Wow! So that that stuff is real, real big, but it, it's working for sure. Wow! You. What was the rumor that um the thing Chris was telling you that he? I, heard? I put it on my notes. If somebody, yeah. some boy said he uh he had done beat uh, Dunk Mouse. So he said you thought he had a like his car wasn't all that. I don't forget his name was a uh, Muscle Car. Oh, Dallas. Muscle Car. Dallas. <laughs> muscle Car. <laughs> Dallas. Like say say Merry it. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna tell you the whole story of what happened. Yeah, he, 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 he running around spreading that, that gospel yeah, that he whooped you up he pretty ain't good. Build another car yet to run up on me. I'm gonna say it real clear to this big <laughs> microphone. Muscle car Dallas, I'm in your city, and I guarantee you won't pull none of them slow cars out right now. So that, that was 2019, you know what I'm saying? But what happened was I was running slicks on the black blur, right? He had street tires on his car. He wanted me to take the slicks off, put the street tires on, and I didn't test the car. You know what I'm saying? I don't make no excuses. It just was a lesson I learned, right? Yeah. I didn't let him out talk me on the game just to get the people a show, whatever the case may be. He won. That was set six, five, <laughs> six years ago. You know what I'm saying? I done came to Texas a hundred million times. <laughs> And he'll come to the show and talk a little trash, but he won't never bring that street car back now. He he'll bring back. What? He'll come in with some clean show car. Like, he got some clean cars now. I ain't gonna put nothing past him. he come with a clean car. 
leave him on the clean car, he can hold that wind for a lifetime. <laughs> but exactly. one day, I I'm going to pull up on him. I'm going to get him. If he, he probably come to the show tomorrow, but I'm going to get him. Must go to Dallas. I'm going to get you. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it's Merry Christmas right to you too. Because he has that bragging right to yeah, say right. Oh, he, he, had, like, he heard it. We came down to Texas in 2019. We pulled up with 18 wheeler down there and I, I stopped. We was in Memphis. I stopped in Memphis, swapped my tires out, put the hard tires on just to race him down there because he wanted to race him with the slicks on. Oh, so he, no. did, he knew he knew he had he to know. He had to do something. So I did, the thing was, I didn't get no tests with the car. So yeah. I came short the trailer and just ran it. You see what I'm saying? And he got me. He clipped me right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> it 19, 20, 21, 20. That's too long. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's five years. And then have anybody ever came back with like different cars when you come back be like, man, I got you. I got something for you. Oh, yeah. There's, there's when they come like try. that, they be like, I got something for yeah, you. I slap fire right out of them. <laughs> I'm talking slap fire right out of them. I mean, they, you know what I mean? A lot of people do that. It's like with me racing, I haven't lost a lot of races. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I do lose, they go hold it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They go hold it. They go talk their trash. You know what I mean? They go talk their like trash. Like Muscle Car Dallas. What? That's what they do. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. You know what I mean? That's just how it go. So, so, so on the West Coast, I, I know you went up there. Like, what's the track? up there and, and, and how often do y'all get up there? Well, in, in uh, Sacramento, they recently just closed that facility, but they have uh, Irondale, Sacramento, where we used to go to, but Sacramento was crazy. So like, and we went, to, we did Sacramento uh, 2017, 19, 20, 22, but in 2017, we had the largest crowd ever at Sacramento Raceway in its existence. So the track opened in like 1983 and it closed last year, 2024. We had about 17,000 people at Sacramento Raceway where the fire marshal actually came and shut the track down because it was lines five miles both ways. Ooh. They jumping the fences. I mean, it's it. all on YouTube. Yeah, they, they wanted to see us race. You know what I'm saying? So that track was the biggest crowd ever. I'm talking about I had Every gang out there, and yeah. ain't nothing went down. You know what I'm saying? They all we went and uh, talked to all them boys, and they be like, "Bro, we want to see our race. We go chill today. We want to have fun. Kids out there playing, running around. It was a, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking. We had every nationality from Samoans, wow. black, white, whatever you can think of. Everybody there. You know That's what I'm saying? Hard man. And that was in 2017, and that was like I said, about 17,000 people. Who haven't you raced yet? That you be like, man, I just gotta catch him on the on the mm -hmm. on the track. Who is that? Oh man, it's, it's a lot of different cars now. There's a lot of different people out there that way. Big wheel racing or just drag racing in general. I big mean, big wheel racing. Yeah, big wheel racing. I mean, shoot, it's a good bit of people. I can't think of nobody name right off hand, but it's a lot of different. Somebody cars that's that, that's good out there that you be like, man, I can't I wait mean, to catch you. Shoot, it's a lot of different ones. I I would have to think about it for a second. With with Denise building up her <laughs> reputation, baby girl. Um, who is it? Any other women out there that's seeing her, you know, make her move and saying, you know what, she trying to act like she for to get in this game. Mm -hmm. I want to see her. I seen that girl out there. Hello Kitty. Hello oh, Kitty. Yeah, Luna. That's Hello Luna. It's, a, it's, Luna. A few, it's a few out there that, yeah. that you know they see her uh -huh. and they say she coming around. Oh, no. You know she with Don. They yeah. think they gonna pull up in my uh -huh. city and they gonna be out there at the big showdown. <laughs> And we got something for it. Like, we, we, this is what we been waiting for. See, they got they got a lot of fast cars, so the difference is, like, it's different classes of cars. So, like, right now, she has a street car, two twelves in the trunk, lights, glitter, sparkling, music beating, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. the they got full tube chassis. Race twin turbo GTR. Uh, yeah, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, a huge different kind of thing, but yeah. you know what I mean? My baby learned from the best that she go drive and hit that tree, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what she gonna do. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's just about what it go be on that, but they got, it's a lot of females down here who got some real fast Cars. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, uh, uh, Jesse Performer's wife with the Trans Marrow, she got a real fast wow. and that's a nice looking car. Luna, like you said, Luna with the Skyline. There's a couple other females out there. with Turbo Tammy? And there's a couple girls out there with, with SS Camaros and stuff that they. Barbie. Yeah, Boosted Barbie. Yeah, they down here. Do yeah. they be calling each other out or they just, they're just hanging out? No, oh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. A woman yeah. don't trash talk like the men do? I'm sure they do. <laughs> 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 so I don't even talk that right trash. Right oh, oh, you got the trash yeah, talking yeah, with She ain't gonna do it. I'll talk <laughs> trash about the money. She's just gonna bust them in the head. Let me ask you this. I, I know you just told her distinct differences in the cars, but how much goes into the the driving aspect of it? If you oh, got yeah. a car that, that's really just got all this stuff on it and you can't drive that car mm -hmm. like, like a person who yeah. might not have that advantage, but she's a better driver. Yeah. Does that come into play? Oh, a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like on the tree, so say if you cut a, if you run a pro tree or a regular tree or whatever, if it's a point five hundred light tree, and if you get close to that five hundred number, that mean that can be 
the win or lose depending on how close the cause is. So saying if you if if Denise cuts a five hundred light, that's a perfect light. If if the drive beside her cuts a six hundred light, that's one call limb. So she can be up in the air going, and this car can still be there. And that's the side effect of who's going to win that race. Wow. So the practicing on the tree, you know what I mean? She got the portal tree we be practicing on. She go to the racetrack. What race is the tree? The tree is the actual lights that's illuminated when yeah. you stage your okay. vehicle. So okay. you stage the two bulbs on there, the pre-stage and the stage. And then if you're doing pro tree, all three yellow lights at one time. Mm-hmm. Or if you're doing a, a full tree, it's one, two, three, green. Okay. Have you ever dreamed about them lights? What? Do I ever know? <laughs> I'm dreaming about them time. On the plane? Yeah. Where am I at? Yeah, I was like, yeah. what up? Oh, oh, Lord. I got to hit that tree. Yeah. I got to hit that tree. Yeah, you got it. Because you can win or lose a race. That's that right. Tree. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yo, yeah, It's just something I thought about when you were saying. I'm like, you look at that stuff every day. Every day. It's in your mind. Oh, so yeah. you might up. wake up like, damn, I thought I was up the track. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and when Absolutely. you on the when you on the track, okay, a race car comes on the track, does all race cars have to burn their tires out first? Yeah, so when you burn the tires, that prep the tires to make them sticky. So you do a burnout to get them heated up to actually make them sticky to grab the surface to actually launch your car at an accelerated mm-hmm. rate. Because some That's people be burning out way more than some. Oh, yeah, because it depends on how they tire compound, how they shocks and stuff set up, and how much power they cars get. So if you see like a regular car, something like a regular something with 350 in you, mm-hmm. there's no need to do that because you don't okay. have much power to make the car do anything. Oh. So some you do more than others, depending on what the tire is, sticky compound. Yeah, I wouldn't even like. know that. When I'm watching as a, a spectator like that who know nothing about this stuff, I'm like, oh, he's showing out more than this person. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's sometimes. Like, that's what some I of think. it do be some part of the show, but a lot of it be to heat the tires up to make them sticky to do what they got to do. What, okay. what, um, okay, you, you've been in this game for a long time. Oh, yeah. Which rapper or, or entertainer uh, spends the most on cars and takes racing serious? Shoot. Mm. I mean, Which I mean, one that you know that he spends money, he's going to buy that car, mm. he's going to race this car, he takes it to the max series? That he races it or I that mean, he has shit. somebody race it for him? T-Pain doing that right now. I okay. mean, yeah, okay. T-Pain drifting and all that. We got to go oh, do some stuff do? with him. Oh, yeah, T-Pain got some drift calls. Shout out to T-Pain and Hurt. Shout out to yeah, T-Pain. So, so hurting them, Hurt actually showed T-Pain how to properly drift, and now he has a whole drift team. Wow. So they travel right now. They're doing an event in uh, South Carolina, matter of fact. Wow. At the same time, they invited me to that, but I had to come down here. So he actually doing drifting. He got a couple drift calls. Uh, he actually learned how to do it. He actually just won his first event uh, a couple weeks ago. That's so dope. he's drifting and, and doing doing that to the max for sure. I yeah. really not ask it because yeah. I know they got you know they 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 got they hobbies too. Just because oh, yeah, they are sure. entertainers, yeah. they love doing yeah. things too. Some of them love fixing cars mm-hmm. up, like Carlos. Some yeah, of yeah. them, some of them love. Do he ever race them damn cars? Nah, he like to drive slow. He like to just cool, keep. You know, that's, that's all. He like me, yeah. but yeah. on a on steroids. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> This nigga on steroids. He love. But he loved to ride in his cruise. He want like he told me when I first met him and started building cars for him. He looked me dead in my face and said, "Look." I got too much money. I'm too famous to be broke down. If you if you can handle that for me, we gonna be able to do what we gotta do. And that's all he had to tell me. You know what I'm saying? That's what he told me. So we we figured it out and got him rolling, rolling. And that's all he want to do. He just like to cruise his cars. Every now and then he might play with the gas a little bit, but he ain't too big on that. He like his cars to run good. Everything work. He want the horn, the, the AC blowing cold, yeah, AC blow ice cold. Open the door, get the door buzzer, get the bang. I mean, he want all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is there an like age it. limit on um, racers who come out there and race against Hell all nah. y'all? Oh nah, I, I know. Racers What's the oldest one you done seen? The, the oldest, oldest one I done beat. At the track. Uh, I mean, shoot, if I think about one of them AARP members, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he about in his 60s or something like that. I mean, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, he about in his 60s, about the oldest one I done ran. In, in the and mid-60s. what's the youngest? The youngest? Uh, shit, I done beat boys 12 years old. They come out there serious about yeah, it. Yeah, how would they do it? I'll but get, you ain't I'll got get. no teenagers out here out there r- racing? No, nah, I don't beat some of them too. I mean, everybody. <laughs> they line up beside me. Once we in the race cars, I don't care if you're 12 or 80. <laughs> you could be a dog. Yeah, you you, you could be a dog. You can drive. You can get You can get that. So, so that, that suit that you're wearing, man, mm-hmm. uh, have you did any more advancing to it? I know we was real excited about yeah. it last time. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. What, like what, what's the safety measures that what you changes have you yeah, so, so right now, we got the, the suits we have now is the SFI uh, 5 suits. I mean, they got all my partners and sponsors all over them. You know what I'm saying? 
what I'm saying? We like VP and Mass, FTI, Dose Slam with 85 South. So all the people, you know what I mean? We put that on the show who we are and what yeah. we do. And, and, and matter of fact, promote our partner and sponsor because they help us get to the level we at. So that's showing our stuff back to them. And that's what we like to do. But, you know, basically have, that's what we got. Have you guys had, like, when you when you first came on and we first sat down in here, one thing when we asked you about was about, you know, you guys' uh, credibility being, you know, people trying to take away the, mm-hmm. the, the dunk master, you know, the the – the, the, the style, the style, and, the, and not only the style of credibility for doing what you've accomplished mm-hmm. is that have that uh, have 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 that went away or they still have no. Nah, so actually, right now we actually formed a group called the Big Rim Pioneers. Okay, so all of the pioneers of the Big Wheel Racing, uh, Cad Blue Magic, Two Fly, Big Low, Seal Larry. Uh, Cut the check Stuntman Playboy Jesus All these people That have been racing Big wheel cars For the last Eight or nine Ten years We all came up With a group To actually make sure Because it's ours We okay. started this You know what I'm saying So like We started all this stuff We started putting The big wheels in the car Putting the big motors in the car We started all this stuff Separately But we all came together now To make sure Nobody can't take What we are uh, Accomplishing what we're doing You know what I'm saying So that was a big part Of us actually forming this group Because a lot of things like racetracks wouldn't want us to come to this track. Or it, it was a lot of different. I mean, it was a lot of different things going on in the community and the culture with the big wheel stuff that had a lot of negativity stuff on it. That's really not true. So, like, you see a lot of people doing a lot of negative stuff. We not doing that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But we don't speak out on it publicly. We talk about it and come up with a plan and execution on what we need to do to further it and, and push the culture forward. So the Big Rim Pioneers is what we actually started. And we have eight shows that we actually travel around, all of us travel around to, and then that we, we promote, but we run off of the NDRA points and the NDRA um, rules, which is the National Dunk Racing Association, in the Big Rim Pioneer stuff. So then that way they can't come in and say they did this or did that. It's no possible way for them to do that because yeah. we're the actual creators and the pioneers of this sport. Yeah. So we yeah. actually invented a brand new sport. It's big wheel race. Wow. Yeah. And 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 seem like and it's picking up and taking off as, oh, you know, yeah. like crazy. Like oh, yeah. like these guys, man, like like they come from everywhere to see you. Mm-hmm. I see guys I seen one guy from California saying he was coming. Oh yeah. I seen you know, you see me I seen last time I was here it was guys from Mississippi that came mm-hmm. up from like like how they are so in tune. Do you think they see you more like on on Instagram or is it that YouTube channel? Mm-hmm. What do you think that your target audience is at? I mean, we have a large audience on Facebook. So my Facebook is the largest one. Like Facebook, I think I got like four hundred twenty something thousand. Wow. My my Instagram is about three hundred seventy something thousand. And then on the two YouTubes that we have, we got about about three hundred thousand. That's so hard. you know what I mean. So as far as all of them, they see it everywhere, and each one has a different fan base. Like my Facebook is normally a lot of the older people. My Instagram is the younger people, and YouTube is a, a big mix. Wow! You don't do TikTok? I do a little bit of TikTok. <laughs> you know, he every can't, guy can't do little, TikTok. Little, yeah, I do a little bit because if much. he don't, somebody gonna do it for him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he ain't yeah, got no other choice. How many pages are out there? One, a whole bunch of them, but I just got verified on Instagram, so I did. Got you you, were, uh, yeah, you yeah. did it because you like you because people can steal your page. Yeah, nah, I ain't do it. They did, you know what I mean? They verified me. They from, did. Yeah, How I gotta, they still do that. Yeah, you got to be a boss. Just boss talk. You need to make sure. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I had to pay for that. I thought okay. I thought now that they they charge people, they get charged. But they'll just call you still or something? How nah, do they? it is. Actually, I was on Instagram one day, and I was like, dang, look, I had to show her. I'm like, boy, look at this. That boy, give me a blue check. Oh, boy, give me a blue check. Yeah, because everybody be buying them. Well, you, you can know tell them to buy them, though, because they put their real name they're on real them. Real yeah, name. I had to do it. You know that, right? Yeah, I had to do it. <laughs> all, all it did was say, change my update picture, change my profile picture to a, my actual face. So I had to change it to my face. I was like, as soon as I changed my face, closed it out, went back to go post something, blue check. Boom. I said, oh. Wow, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So that's I had to hard. pay for it. That's hard. Yeah, but that, that helped eliminate a lot of that fake pages because it right. was a whole bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? They had some dump master with the SB of money sign or two A's or two R's. It's just a bunch of spam kind of stuff, but you know what I mean? You it's you you got to understand, master. man. You 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 came and you came in the game when the game first started. All we heard from was the dunk. The dunk, we're dunk from out of Miami and oh, all yeah. that. Yep. Them boys still giving you flack, or had you go, went back down there? They, mm-hmm. You know, you say you took the title and you yeah. cut run around the dunk master. Like, yeah. have you been back to to 
Yeah, that's that's uh, that's where she from. Yeah, I yeah, go, yeah. I go all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, I mean, what are you gonna do? I talk to them what's happening. I mean, y'all they want to race. Yeah, we race, play around, go to the club with them boys. That would say, but they part of the big rim pioneer stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's why we make sure nobody left out. They actually started it. That's but hard. It just in the beginning, what, what we did with internet cousin dump match, we just took off so first, so yeah, fast. yeah. So all I was doing is okay. If I'm at the top, I'm gonna reach back down to help Maybe y'all. Let's get this thing together and let's do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we doing because like you saying everybody want to come and get a piece of this sport that we create that's right like we the only ones running from the police out of men locked up street racing yeah, all yeah, kind of yeah, stuff yeah. down there doing this you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's only right for us to come together and you know what i mean man up and let's get this thing rocking on put it on the level where it need to be i like that and man that's what, we, that's what we doing i like it how I, I gotta ask you i can't let you come on the show and not ask about them kids man oh yeah for sure like like which one of them is is is, is driving around the parking lot yeah Thinking he uh, dunk master number two. Shit, what the, the middle one? <laughs> side, yeah. So you know me and my older son CJ. He he playing the sports. You got the girls, the curly hair. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He work out. He fit. So you know, he that's what he like to do. And then Zaya is the twelve year old. He does exactly everything I do. Wow. He, he dunk master. Yeah, he little dunk master. So he that's what he do. I mean, he got the waves. He, yeah, he clean. Everything fresh. you do. <laughs> Why he work on cars? He build racetracks in his room. How old is wow. he now? He's twelve. Twelve. Yeah, he's, he's serious 12. about it. Oh yeah, he dead serious. Wow. He go to the track. He tell you what kind of motors in there. He he want to add the track, sell his rubber band bracelets. And then he go stack his bread up until he get a car. So he's trying to build him a car right now. He's trying to build it. Well, yeah. He already know what kind of motor he want. He know what kind of chassis he want. All that. He and he go to track every time we do a close event. I take him. Take him. Oh, he got about fifty rubber bands. He walking around the track selling rubber bands two dollars a piece. That's hard, oh, yeah. man. He, when he, he gonna have that. him start racing? I mean, we probably I'll probably end up putting him in like a Junior Jackson something. Probably another couple of years. But as of right now, I'm gonna just have him in the cars listening to, him, to figuring out what he's doing because like what my uncle did with me was learning how to fix the car learn all the tools mm, yeah. so I bring mm. to the shop learn the tools learn how to fix it stuff like that that's and hard then my youngest son what well, the 8 year old Kobe he he like football so he play football he's a quarterback right now he, he pretty good at that he can throw here. He's eight. He's Kobe's what? Eight, nine, ten years old. Damn, Kobe <laughs> ten, bro. That nigga getting old. Yeah, so he throw he throw about 40, 40 yards at ten. Wow, years old. that's yeah, old. He can sling that thing. He can sling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's pinpoint accuracy though. He hit him moving and running everything. So he's pretty good. Matter of fact, I got some videos too. He loved doing it. Oh yeah, that's that's. He gonna he gonna get down no matter what. Yeah, you he know? definitely can do that. And he don't sure. want no more kids. Nah, we ain't about to do nothing. Well, we, we we now, now, wait a minute now, because it was some stuff. Well, you slipping. I think it was engagement or something going oh, we on. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's we talk about that. that stuff. That's your move. You ain't yes. even asked him about yeah. it. I thought, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, where's the big date? The date? Not nah, yeah, We start to figure the date out. We got to figure the date out. Because she, you know what I mean? She want what she want. You know what I mean? Just like the race car stuff with me. And, you know what I mean? I'm going to get what I want so she could get exactly what she want. Oh, uh, really? Do the right you going to get married on the track? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to church house. You go to the church house. Like, oh, yeah, you go to church house. Man, to church house. I, I love it, man. So, man, like, like I thank God that I met you, man. I appreciate everything you've done. If it wasn't for you, a lot of people wouldn't be sitting in that seat, man. Oh, I no, just I want to tell you, thank you, man. Oh, no, you know I what I'm saying? appreciate you putting me on the platform. Man, I'm man. always rock with you, man. I, I was hard when I met you. Oh, yeah. I was coming at you hard, little <laughs> yeah, short yeah, yeah. nigga, trying to get to the dark tried, son. I, I was trying to get to dark now. But that was just God, man. I just oh, thank yeah. God for y'all. I call you and check on you. You always mm-hmm. answer or oh, get yeah. back with me, man. Sure. Shout out to your team, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Gavin and all those guys, oh, man. Yeah, Steve Moore. Steve Moore, yeah. all of them, man. Like I said, the camera boy. Where that old camera boy? G Dog. So yeah. yeah. G-Dog, they laying in the morning. The morning. I yeah. see him tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you see him tomorrow. So G Dog, <laughs> and then we got Charles. He the book. We got two. So G Dog does all the long form cinematic yeah. YouTube stuff. A lot of the videos y'all see with this, like sit down, eat your popcorn, 25 minutes of race video. Yeah. And Charles do a lot of the short form YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, Instagram, Facebook reels. He do some of the stuff like that too, but that's he's most specialized in that. Man, what would you say to that young kid or that young group of men that's trying mm-hmm. to do what you're doing? What, what do they need to do first to start out and just try to accomplish? You know, putting the team together. You I know. mean, you gotta pray. That's what you, you gotta, gotta do. Pray. You, better, you Man, gotta pray. That's and then you gotta stay consistent. You, nothing comes overnight. So, like, we, like, doing this stuff, I didn't really start making no real paper until about 15 years of doing the same thing. Wow. So, like, finding my actual first sponsor, I was spending money with them for nine years before uh-huh. they actually even 
wanted to mm. give me a part. Yeah. So like people always ask me like, how I get these sponsors and partners. I don't switch up. If I'm messing with somebody, that's what we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I got a problem or concern, I should be to talk to you. You know what I mean? Just like you. Say yeah. boss up my my this flat. I don't want this no more. <laughs> I need ice. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know that honestly we had to be consistent, talk, and you gotta be transparent. So you wanna look, don't keep your mouth closed, open your mouth and say something. Wow. But stay consistent and you know what I mean, don't give up. That's basically what I did. Man, thank oh, you yeah. so much, man, for coming on the show. How mm -hmm. can people get a hold of you if they're trying to rock out with you? Oh, no, I mean, you can go to the website, in and com for sure. Uh, you go on my Instagram, one underscore dump master. On Facebook, it's dump master. A lot of times, if you just Google dump master, you'll see it uh, pop on right on up. Wow. Yep. You on three, it's two, huh? Three is. Oh, yeah, the top of the Instagram. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I don't know how to work that. I don't even know how to type every time. I'm just, I'm just, I see, there. I don't it know, looks like it just sometimes it'll send messages back. Somebody yeah, said something. I'm I don't like, know. damn, where that come from? <laughs> you know anything that. about it? Mm -mm. You yeah, know, I see them, I see them, so man. everybody kind of, I, I think they're trying to be like Twitter, yeah. but Twitter already got that down pat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, it's going to be hard to compete, you know what I mean? But definitely, man, um, do you think at some point, Social media, man. Where do we? Where do you think it'll be in 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 five years? This is my last question to mm -hmm. you. Where do you think like YouTube and all this stuff is going to be, man? Man, I'm seeing the stuff where they got them goggles now. Where I can sit here and see the I world. See that. Like if you in the house and I'm want to go to Africa, I just hit the button to go to Africa. And you, but there. you can't touch the. I smell it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, yeah. Yeah. See, like me, we want to touch the smell. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? like, Hell yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. Like, they they might made a mask where you can smell. See, if it do that, <laughs> that's crazy. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But we like to go see. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to touch it, feel it, experience it. You know what I mean? Take the plane ride, right. swimming over, whatever the I'll case may be. I'll ask you something else. Did you fear them robots? They might outwork you and make I a car mean, better than you can I make mean, it. I mean, they probably could. AI I mean. is becoming a real thing. Oh, it's been real. They definitely got it out here for sure now. I seen a dude kicking a ball. I don't know if these things real or not. I'm like, he kicking with this Man, robot. I, matter of fact, I said, I just, this shit real? I just, seen, I just hit Slim Thug the other day. Talk to Slim Thug. He, Shout he out Slim Thug. Yes. I'm just with him the other day, yeah, too. Just, he just bought one of them, dang. He just no. ordered one of them. Yeah, I'm telling you, he just ordered one of them. He, just, he said he going to be the first dude rapper in Texas with the robot. So, I mean, he got it. I mean, he ordered it. He Shoot, ordered it. after watching the iRobot, I'd be scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause they might flip it. He's time. sitting in the house they tripping. Might, yeah, I'm going to yeah, look yeah. at him. He yeah. might say something back to him. I'm, I'm yeah. going to try to take his yeah. head off. Yeah. You I'm going to pour, pour, pour some water on him. Shit. He pour some water on him. He had a bug. I stayed at a hotel the other day, and when I came out, came out of the room, I saw, um, I think his name was Joe or something. He was going around just vacuuming. It was yeah, a robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just going around too. vacuuming yeah. and stuff. And somebody else said, oh, you haven't seen one that come and deliver your food yet? And I'm like, no. Yeah, we had one come to the host. We was in, uh, yeah, in California. Wow. Matter of fact, when I did the day clone time robot yeah. stuff with the movie yeah. and all that, they had the robot come. We ordered the food. The robot came with the elevator, hit the dough. And we open the door, and the robot, and then pop, hello, boom, boom, put the yeah. food out of the thing. I said, oh, what the hell? I'm talking about, that's crazy. They got oh, them all through California. You see them rolling down the street they and everything. They finna fire that's all these heard. niggas. Yeah, these niggas too. getting fired, I can promise oh, yeah, they you. Definitely. They don't yeah. want y'all no more. No. These no. niggas is all <laughs> in it, too. You can't tell them to do nothing, nothing. but these niggas is mad. They don't talk don't back. Call back. Yeah, they don't talk. The robots don't talk back. <laughs> They're kind of working on time. Yeah. I mean, I, that's crazy. And, I mean. they, and they can work all night. They all don't care. All night, day long. Months at a time. You ain't got to pay them. You just have to maintain them. That's all you got to do. Maintain <laughs> pizza, like bill. That's it. Charlie that battery, old call Stu coming out the gate, though. Shout out to Slim Thug for the spin yeah. that bang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you guys for coming to the show. We love y'all, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. And for we're going to do this. Oh, I got to get to South Carolina. Oh, you yeah. got to do that. See, check I the came, South Remember, I came to Atlanta. I had yeah. to turn around and go back on the yeah. weather. You told me yeah, I couldn't yeah, come. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to get down there. Yeah, we've been. Then we put up, lay all the cars out so you know what I mean? Be the best. I'm coming. Check it, man. It's yeah. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. Make sure you guys check out this next clip. Man, Dunkmaster went in, man. You gotta see this one. Mm -hmm. And we out.